Hello, I'm David Chaston with 90 at 9, brought to you by interest.co.nz. This is where you get everything you need to know in 90 seconds at 9 o'clock, including news of a gigantic offer to settle legal woes. But first in the US, durable goods orders for August came in above expectations and above the previous month, although the capital goods component wasn't so strong. At the same time, US new home sales rose strongly to the level that was expected in August. On Wall Street, the talk was of a bank JP Morgan trying to clear up all its outstanding legal issues with regulators. Depending on reports, they may be offering anywhere from 3 to 7 billion US dollars to resolve matters, that is, buy their way out. In this range, these fines would dwarf any previous settlement and indicate the depth of the bank's legal tangles. Overnight, the American debt ceiling cliff got put back a couple of weeks, with the US Treasury putting a date on when the cash will run out, October 17. But there's also talk that as a second-term president, Obama may test the use of an obscure clause in their constitution and raise the debt ceiling himself and put it on the courts to rule. Such a move would anger many legislators and is uncertain how Amer the American public would react. Speaking of debt, in Europe, France has revealed that it is, its public debt will hit more than 95% of GDP in 2014, according to their latest budget plan. In Australia, reports are emerging that their chilled beef exports to China are being blocked. Australia is by far the largest supplier to China, and some there suspect that safety issues are, are a non-tariff attempt to aid local Chinese producers. There may be spin-off impacts for New Zealand. Something to watch, and comes on the back of a block on New Zealand apples into China. Sensitivity to China will be what is behind Fonterra's remarks yesterday that the price of milk powder is too high and needs to be normalised. And speaking of sensitivity, Finance Minister Bill English has kept up his attack on ASB in its withdrawal of mortgage pre-approvals. Expect the government to launch, or relaunch, an initiative to help first home buyers probably in early October. Markets are drifting ahead of the US debt crisis and government shutdown date. Equities are down, the Dow is down marginally in late trade, oil is down again, now close to $102 a barrel, and gold is marginally higher. And the US Treasury 10-year yields are down again as well, now at 2.64. The New Zealand dollar starts the day lower at 82.5 US cents, 88.1 Aussie cents, and the TWI is at 76.8. I'm David Chaston, that was 90 at 9, brought to you by interest.co.nz.